Nearly six months at sea and thousands of pounds of drugs seized. Not a bad deployment for the crew of the USS Nicholas, which returned to Naval Station Norfolk this morning. Ten on your sides, Art Khan spoke with the crew about the impact of their success. Navy bands are usually reserved for the homecoming of a carrier strike group, but this was more like a triumphant return than a homecoming. Working with the Colombian Navy patrolling the Caribbean and Eastern Pacific in support of Operation Martillo, Spanish for Hammer, the USS Nicholas and her crew seized more than 16,000 pounds of cocaine from drug smugglers. It's about 7.2 million individual doses of cocaine. And an individual dose is like the size of a sweet and low pack. So it's, uh, it's, it's huge. It's a huge uh, victory for the war on drugs. And a huge financial loss for the drug smugglers as well. Along with the 500 pounds of marijuana also seized in the operation, the drugs would have sold for about $250 million on the street. Nicholas also captured 14 suspected drug smugglers for prosecution in the United States. Uh, we did a lot of uh, chasing bad guys, so I I'm glad that we got it off the streets. Nicholas also hosted a Colombian film crew shooting a documentary on drug interdiction in Central America. And as significant as this latest engagement for the Nicholas is, it's not the first time this ship has been in the headlines. In April of 2010, the ship captured some pirates after they fired on the Nicholas. Is there something lucky about this ship that she always finds herself in the mission? Well, you know, the ship's uh, motto is carrying on a proud tradition. As noble as that sounds, the actions of the ship's crew speak louder than words and is the likely source of their good fortune. It's good to be a role model. It's good to encourage others to do positive things. When you do positive things, positive results are going to follow. At Naval Station Norfolk, Art Khan, 10 on your side.